Don't Worry Darlin' is the newest drama mystery film to hit theaters and was completely crushed by critics, but is it really that bad? Before getting to my thoughts on this new film, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, comment below your thoughts on this film, and also turn the notification bell so you never miss any video that I drop and I upload weekly. And now without further ado, let's get into my thoughts on this brand new film. A 1950s housewife living with her husband in a utopian experimental community begins to worry that his glamorous company could be hiding disturbing secrets. The film stars Florence Pugh, Harry Styles, Chris Pine, Olivia Wilde, Kiki Lane, Nick Kroll, and many others, and was directed by Olivia Wilde, and she has done one other film called Booksmart. Don't worry, darling, I only watched one review going into this film, and I knew that person wouldn't actually spoil the film. So really going into this film, I saw that Rotten Tomatoes had given it a really bad score and really my expectations for this film were just kind of in the middle. I didn't really feel like I was really hyped for this film, but I do really like Florence Pugh, so I was going to see this film regardless. And I have to say, I really do like the look of this film. I love the artistic vision of this film. I love that it's in the 1950s. I love the setting. I love how we're in this utopian community. It really does feel like the 1950s and it really is incorporated with a very good score that really has that 1950s vibe while also having those suspenseful moments when it is really needed. And in this actual world, you have the wives, they're staying home, they're doing the normal cooking and cleaning. They don't go out to work. All the husbands, they all go out to work at the same time. And then they don't really know exactly what they're doing while they're at work. And when these husbands come home, they want a meal. And it really does feel like the 1950s. 1950s and it really does feel like a style that really is kind of outdated in a way and when I say that I mean today we wouldn't really have that kind of society nowadays it's a very mixed kind of bag you know the men might be home the woman may be home it really just depends but we really don't have that society anymore we're really only having one person actually working I really like seeing the artistic interpretation of inside feelings and memories and I really did like seeing that we have a lot of different subjects tackling here like emotional manipulation and misogyny and gaslighting and Florence Pugh she really goes through a lot of different phases in this film she's really trying to figure out what is going on now at first she's really going through a lot of the emotions but she really is trying to crack this mystery as to what is going on and I really did like that she does experience all these different emotions throughout the film. And I like that they really incorporate all these different memories that they really go through her head. It feels very artistic. I like that we have a lot of different visuals here that really just make you question what is really going on in this town. Now, I will say that there are certain things in this movie that I kind of figured out throughout this film, but I didn't really know everything about this film. I think that a lot of the characters that are actually in here, some of the side characters, they do have good chemistry when they're on screen. Now, I will say that there are times where I really wish that these side characters would be really fleshed out. And I would say Olivia Wilde would be one of them. I really thought that she really deserved a little bit more role in this, but she really kind of takes a little bit of a backseat in here and really doesn't have too much going on in the film. And I thought they could have did a better job with really fleshing out her character more. I also did like Chris Pine in this. A lot of people have said that they really didn't like his performance. I think what he does on screen here is actually pretty good. The only thing that I can really say about his character is he's not involved as much so he doesn't have all the effect all the time in this film. But I think for me, he did enough in this film to really kind of really get the just of his character and really actually try to make this film feel like he is the villain here. The film also feels very sexual in nature. I feel like Florence Pugh and Harry Styles, their actual relationship is very sexual rather than actual consensual feelings. And I felt that Harry Styles is really just there for sex appeal. And he's very much a monotone character here. And I really wanted a little bit more about these men that are actually in the situation. I wanted to know, is this more a act of desperation or is it something to do with a cult? Why did they actually derive to do what they were actually doing in this film? And even for the women, they don't really go into the side characters as to why they're in the situation. Obviously, this film is really more centralized on Florence Pugh and Harry Styles' relationship. And Florence Pugh is really the lead lady here. And really, most of the film is really getting inside her head and really trying to actually unravel this mystery. But it really only goes through her and a lot of the other side characters. They're just kind of there to guide you through the story. They're not really that main focus throughout this film. And you really don't get a lot from the side characters. 
I found also that this film felt very slow. It really feels like it really drags through the mud here. There are some really repetitive scenes and actual repetitive things that just keep happening. And you want it to speed up a little bit and maybe a little bit of cutting out there and just not so much repetitive scenes. But I do feel like once it gets into that third act and it really jumps into gear, I really do like the desert scenes that we get here and just whole reveal about this film. I actually do like the reveal of this film, but I do have a lot of questions questions after seeing this reveal and seeing how this film actually ended. I actually had a lot of questions about the men and a lot of questions about this whole person that's in charge of this town. And I also have questions about the women and what actually happened to them. So I did have some questions really ending this film. And I feel like it's one of those films where it has a really good idea, but it does stumble a little bit in the writing aspect and it stumbles in how they filmed this and how they really wanted to tell the story. And I think that it could have been fleshed out a little bit more with certain things and some things could have been brought a little bit back to really cut some things that really didn't need to be in the film. Wrapping up my final thoughts on this film, I do think that this is a visually good film. I think that the soundtrack is very good. The score is really good. I think it is intense at certain parts in the film. And I think that third act is probably the best part about the film. It does have some slow, muddy parts. I do think Florence Pugh puts on a really good performance. However, I don't think that this film is really going to be winning any awards. And I can see why people are very divided about this film and really not liking the four reveal about this film. So with that in mind, I'm going to give a score of this film a 3 out of 5. If you're on the fence, if you actually want to watch this in theaters or actually stream it, I would say stream it. I do want to watch this film again, and I probably will pick it up when it comes to physical media. I have seen The Steel Book, and it looks really nice, so I do want to pick that up if it actually is coming to the U.S. So that is my final thoughts about this film. Thank you guys for watching this review, and I'll see you guys on my next one.